This roadmap made me machine learning engineer and data scientist at the age of 14. People do these mistakes whilst while learning some topics and they think that they can't do this or they can't succeed in this topic. Hey guys, my name is Ayush and I'm currently working as a data scientist at Replay. In this video, we'll talk about or we'll discuss the roadmap for becoming a full-fledged machine learning engineer or a data scientist. In the journey of becoming machine learning engineer and data scientist, I was very confused from what to learn and from where to learn. And you folks keep asking me to bring a detailed roadmap for, for becoming machine learning engineer or a data scientist. I'm Ayush, I always come up with something extra. I'll give you the detailed roadmap for, for becoming machine learning engineer or a data scientist. Along with that, we will discuss what are some of the crucial mistakes which most beginners do in starting of their journey of data science or machine learning. So make sure you watch this video till the end. So let's get started. So the first step in your AI animal journey is coding or learning a programming language. I recommend you to start with Python and learn Python the good way. What do I mean with good way? So I'll start off with what are the mistakes with people do while learning Python. They think that they can learn Python in around 10 hours or watching some sort of hours of videos and they're done. But you can't really learn any programming language in 10 hours. You need to learn the core stuff of it. You need to learn the fundamentals and workflow of the programming language. Clearing the basics is also not enough. You need to know how to write better code or how to write robust code that works very well. You need to match your code with the industry applications code or production ready applications code. So I recommend you another step, which is a bit of intermediate and advanced step, which is learning about the design patterns of how do we write the code and how to design softwares, as well as the best practices for writing your code in Python. So the resources for the code Python and the robust Python and design patterns is in the Notion page. After learning Python, you need to know about some Python frameworks, all the tools which are being used currently in the industry for doing several tasks like working with the data or maybe something like visualization and etc. And you may ask why we should work with the data and etc. So if you don't know how to work with the data, then there's no point in learning ML because data is the key ingredient in building your machine learning system. So some of the tools which I recommend, Pandas, NumPy, for visualization, we have Matplotlib and Seaborn. And there's also structured query language, which is also super, super, super important. If you want why SQL is important, I can make a, another video on that. So again, I'll repeat, that you cannot learn these tools or frameworks in some hours. Like there are several YouTube channels which are providing in some hours learn pandas in two hours, etc. But you can't really learn that. <laughs> mathematics is very important. You need to learn mathematics if you want to learn data science and machine learning from the bottom of the heart. But you may think mathematics is hard. I will just say mathematics of machine learning and a data science is quite easy. It's very, very interesting. You need not to be good at calculations or you need not to be good numerical calculations. So there are three branches which I, which I recommend to you. Linear algebra, which deals with storing and manipulation of the data. So when you learn the machine um, concepts of machine learning, you'll get to know this. The next step is calculus, which is for optimization of your algorithm or learning uh, where the algorithm is learning. Uh, using this this branch of mathematics and then you have a statistics and probability where you're doing some 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 sort of learning as well as well as estimation of the prob probability i have seen many courses online which are which are which which are saying or which are not teaching mathematics in depth they're just um, teaching the practical stuff and they're done like they all already got the data now they're building model on top of it but this is not how the real real world job works. There's completely different scenario in that. Now you're fully ready to get started 
with machine learning. I recommend you to follow machine learning in three stages. So as shown, as shown in the whimsical roadmap with the topics. So if you're interested in knowing, knowing about the topics, you can actually read it out. But there is basics or the core machine learning, then intermediate machine learning, and then advanced machine learning. So there are three, uh, three phases to be followed. And every and, and I've listed topics of every uh, phases if there and the whimsical. If you complete these three phases, you will be having a very good and core understanding of this. But from where to complete this? So I have made the Notion page essay, which you can see in front of the screen. So I have given every topic which you need. So there's a machine learning section. So I have, I have written every topic which you need with the resources, suggested reading materials, and the, and the books which are recommended for that topic from where to where page number as well, I've list, listed over there, and which are the best videos to follow. Again, I'm going to repeat, you need to build your base. You cannot just skip the concept and learn the next concept. You cannot, you cannot skip how, how algorithm learns mathematically, right? And, and there's several other things like assumptions and test of assumptions using Python and, and how, what, what are the remedies of it and, and how to fix it. So there are several things which are super, super important in, in your journey. So you learn along with it. So you need to be well, well versed with the core stuff. And then if you have the core stuff or the base built up in much more, much more better way, you can build yourself on top of it. This roadmap made me as a machine learning engineer and a data scientist at the age of 40. You can also follow the same roadmap with full dedication, consistency, and hard work to achieve what I'm able to. If you learned something valuable from this video, please do like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be catching up to you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye, have a great day.